what is up y'all it's your boy savage chance um from let me get this out of here keeps coming back pushing that pushing them packs in my face again yeah this is your boy savage chance um some of y'all know me from my uh rise of the kings videos maybe some of my old clash of kings videos a long time ago uh but I'm um, back here making Clash of Kings vi videos again. Um, first, I want to say it's my first video in six months. So please uh, be patient with me if I stumble over my words. You know, if I, you know, I'm gonna try not to go back and forth. But uh, basically, I want this to be an introduction video. Um, I read. I'm on a lot of the Facebook chat groups. I'm in a lot of you know chat groups for you know WeChat and Line. And, you know, there's so many questions and so many things that you know people just uh, you know they need answered. And there's so many people that are given a thousand different answers. You know, some which might be true, some which might not be. Um, but I believe there's a lot of things that uh, you know I could you know. There's a lot of knowledge I could give out to a lot of you guys that could uh, really use it. Um, now, I don't expect, you know, everybody to need, I don't, maybe, you know, what I'm going to show you guys is all already know, but I believe there's a lot of things that I'm going to be able to show you guys. Um, you know, I'm also starting to do this because there's, you know, a few, few of the cl better Clash Kings YouTubers, uh, one of them quit troublemaker that I've always looked up to him so I want to give him a shout out uh, you know he's a good rod man you inspired a lot of us helped us a lot so uh, you know good luck with the rest of your journey on YouTube whatever you do in your life um, and then you know there's, uh, there's a couple other youtubers you know one of them in particular I'm not gonna call it any names um, he hasn't played much and you know, he used to be the master of this game. I learned a lot from him, but he doesn't know shit about the new game. And he says a lot of things that I feel are going to discourage a lot of uh, players that doesn't that don't spend or don't spend a lot. And I'm here to tell you right now, um, you could be very successful at this game with very little money, or you know, or you could be successful at this game playing for free if you do it right. And that's where I'm here to help you. And you can be very successful. You know, I'm going to try to show you how to, when you spend money, spend it uh, the most efficient possibly. How, you know, um, that is a big part of the game. If you're a spender, you got to learn how to spend, where to spend. You don't always want to go through the, the 90,000 gold packs with fucking 100,000 different items in it. You know, when you're, if you're buying a pack, make sure that's going towards something that you truly need. That's something that's to truly make you better. Um, that's just one thing. Um, you know, I know, I know a trick on how to build Archangel equipment, basically for free, as long as you have the Asylum equipment already built. To, uh, you know, throw in for fours. I'm gonna teach you guys the tricks on how to make that equipment. Um, I'm trying not to show my stats because I would. You know, who knows if the enemies end up ever seeing my videos. I don't want them to get too much of what I have. But I will show you some of my equipment. Um, so I'll show you right here. This right here, what I'm about to show you, I built this all for free. Uh, the internet. Give me one second, guys. I'm not going to stop recording because last time I did that, it, it'll come back in a second. But, uh... I built all this equipment right here for free. Um, now, the brown pants, they're brown not because I messed up on my forging, but because my asylum pants were, were brown and they were my first set of Archangel equipment I've ever built, and I didn't know that trick yet. Um, so, they're brown. But I'm actually, right now, I'm about to build uh, a gold set of Asylum Pants. And I will you make a, I will make a video on making them Asylum Pants. And right from making them Asylum Pants, I'm going to go right to showing you how to make those Asylum Pants 
into Archangel Pants gold for free. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I can't sit here and say I don't spend money because I do. But there's sometimes I could spend 100, 200 a month. Sometimes I can't spend for six months. Right now I'm sitting on 282 gold. That's it. And I don't have money to spend right now. Um, so there's times that I got to, you know, I got to keep growing. And because of the way that I, I spend when I do allows me to be able to be successful when I don't have money. Um, you know, basically I'm going to teach you how to be as efficient as possible when it comes to building, training troops, building equipment, fighting. You're going to, I'm going to teach you a lot of work on it. I'm going to teach you a lot of tricks, how to fight, how, how to fight with a lot of power and how to fight with one to two marches max. I always say, honestly, I'm way more deadly way more, you know, if I'm, finally have two marches, you know, I'm good, I could hurt my opponents way worse than I, I can maybe lose 100 million power, because I'm not scared to lose a march, I only have two, so it's not that big of a deal, I could always hide the one, you know, if you, here's the thing, if you lose your power, you could always be rebuilt, but they can never take away your stats, you'll learn with me, uh, Building a stats for your troops is the most important thing. If you have good stats, 30 million power is enough for defense. I'm going to teach you about the new meta in the game, how where P6s aren't going to be able to just zero P5s, you know, like that anymore. There's a lot of things I'm going to teach you. Um, you know, I got KVK coming up. We got a pretty big kingdom uh, we're about to fight so I'm going to be going out there I'm going to be fighting as hard as I can to help win it because I'm on phase 8 right now phase 7 or phase 8 but either way I'll have it ready to go if I'll do the video for that for the KVK um, it might just be a video of me attacking um, then I'm going to do also going to do a video of me finishing my P6 um, I originally was going to start this for my Alliance members because I, you know, I've been trying to explain to them how to build this Archangel equipment for free, how to do this, how to da 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 da, and it's so hard through Messenger. If I do nothing but help my Alliance members with these videos, I'm cool with that. But if it helps any of you, I will, that would make, that would me, make me very happy. Um, this, this, people lay this game out to be Clash of Kings, yes. It's it's a terrible rank company. They are snakes. And that's what it is. People like me, people like you, who's been in this game for three, two, three, four years, spent all this time. We can't just give up on it. We ain't just gonna throw away everything we built. So um, instead of crying about it, I'm gonna teach you guys everything I know how to be successful and get around their bullshit and how to uh, basically. Uh, get some things for free that a lot of people are spending hundreds of dollars on um you know just an example right here you know this is one thing i want to say um obviously everybody knows archer attack is very very um very important and i also believe well-rounded stats is also and everybody thinks that a full asylum set is best because you get the you get the equipment set, um, what's it called, right here, you get, if you have the whole set, you get 15% troop attack, alright, that's all good and dandy, but to me, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, I'm not gonna t get that 15% troop attack, because I'm gonna have, I have two gold asylum bows, because if you think about it, how, how hard it is to get just 80% archer attack, so, if you have two gold asylum bows, you're adding 80% archer attack just on two pieces of, two pieces of, we two weapons. Two weapons. So, I'm going to show you my ways, I'm going to show you other ways, I'm going to show you so many different things. Um, 
I'm going to maybe come out with another video tonight. Um, I just wanted to make this introduction video, let you guys know who I am. I think I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the kingdom real quick. I don't want to make this too long a video, especially because I'm not showing much. But I just want to let you guys know what I'm about, who I am. Um, you know, I'm here to help all of you guys. We're, you know, we're a community that are in a game that's in some rough stages, but let's, you know, let's stick together and beat it. And, you know, I have ways that we can be, you know, we you, just follow my videos and you'll see. Let's let me show you my kingdom real quick. Um, I have a little story with something that's going on with my lines right now, but uh, that's for another video. That's there's some crazy stuff going on. I've been doing a lot of killing, um, but uh, alliance power rankings. Now HUA is the top alliance. They own the throne. They're very strong. Um, they don't have no billion power castles, but a lot of you know two, three, four, five hundred million power castles. When you have ten, fifteen of those, it's you're pretty strong. And then TOF, um, Hello Kitty's the leader. That's my old alliance. Um, I used to be leader there. My castle was actually stolen for a good six months, and it took me well, it took me a good f six months to get it back. Um, I could be P6 by now, but I felt I really needed to make sure that my I did not want to be uh, a shell of a P6. I wanted to make sure my stats were correct. I wanted to make sure my pet power is correct. And I still don't feel like I'm completely there yet. But I'm far along enough to where, you know. In another video, I'll show you my equipment on my heroes and stuff like that. Um, but was Lord Power Rank. You see, hello, Kitty. She's at 529 million power. Um, then HUA, they're, they're everywhere down here. If you see this. They fill out the list, basically. You know, I'm 104 million power. I'm in 30, 33rd place. And let me say this. Again, I, I will admit I spend... I'm not going to sit here and say I don't. But I do not spend much money on building troops. And I do fight. So, that proves that you can build power if you're, if you're just... If you're as efficient as possible. You know... Um, I will show you these things. I want to get into it more right now, but I feel like it'll be all over the place. So I'm going to do each video, um, a little bit, you know, I'm going to do each video one at a time. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, um, like, please, uh, I don't know how many people this will get out to, but, you know, I promise you if you watch it, you're going to help, or it's going to help you, um, and to all my Alliance members, I know I'm not with you right now. Even though it might not seem like it, you, I still love you all like family. They're just, you know, there's a few things we got to get handled before I come back. Um, but it's your boy Savage Chance. Like I said, please hit that like button. Um, please subscribe. If you want to learn how to, if you want to learn how to become a, a monster without much money, this is the right channel. Don't be discouraged. We could, we, we're all here. We could all grind. We could all win. Just keep coming back. All right, y'all. Peace.